if you are a Arab guy or an Indian guy and you want to come to Poland, you are going to get treated worse than even a black guy. I'm going to just keep it real. Right? If you're Pakistani, Indian, Arab, you come over here trying to get at girls in the club, they're going to fuck you up. I'm going to just be real with you. You know, you, you better already know some people or you better go out in the crowd of like holy people that you know but you're not gonna be you know in the club picking up random chicks and taking them home on the first night they're not gonna let you do that all right um poland has never been hit from my knowledge for the terrorist attack but poland is in the eu poland doesn't want to import anybody from any kind of muslim country for the most part all right um black people africans they, they have a good relationship with Africans, even though they don't really like to see foreigners with their women. But like, you know, Poland men, you know, taking in Africans, black Africans for a long time. So they, they kind of more used to seeing that than Arabs. So I know a lot of the, a lot of the dudes who are, who are, you know, Arabs, you know, you like a uh, particular, you know, Polish women, they're very pretty, I understand that. But you know, just know <laughs> is it's problems because they don't like Muslims a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying they, but you know, the country wants to stay away from Muslims. Very Catholic country, and you know, that they're gonna look at you as a threat. From my knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Polish Polish dudes don't play that shit. You know, I'm just being real. I ain't hating, but you know, if you're Indian dude, Pakistani dude, you know. You can be confused for being Arab. You know, a lot of dudes who have been in the bars and shit, they've been attacked uh, for that same reason. You're not even Arab. So just know that, you know, uh, a place that's a little bit better is Ukraine. You know, Ukraine is a lot more open to the world. You know, a lot of Turkish people up there, a lot of everything up there. You know, they're, they're more friendly in Ukraine when it comes to you know, more interracial relationships, but I'm just being real, they still don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't. So, you know, don't don't come out here thinking you're gonna be picking up, you know, Polish chicks and right and left in bars and shit. If you're gonna holler at chicks, you gotta hit them at the bus stop, man. Let me let me let me come back on that segment and, 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 and speak to that. Best way as a foreigner to holler at Polish chicks. Now, I, I, told, I told you I live in Lublin. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a college town. A lot of people from all across Lublin and Europe come and study here. So the best way that I know or I've seen how to talk to Polish women is on the bus stop. Bus stop or on the bus in the streets. That's the best way. Get your game up like that. You know what I mean? A lot of cats use Tinder. Tinder is huge out here. You know, a lot, a lot of my medical student classmates. Shout out to y'all. You know what I'm talking about? They use Tinder. So that's a, that's a good way to rock. But you know, the, the best way I, I've seen bus stops, bus stops, malls, indirect approach. You know what I mean? The bars don't do it. Clubs, don't do it. You know, hit, hit them, hit them like, 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 so some chicks coming right here, right? I'm, I'm gonna show you, they walking up. So it's like two chicks walking up right here. I'm getting ready to go to my building. And uh, look at these hot ass coats on and shit that you're about to see them. And so you just, you know, if you were to come through, um, and they're going right there across the street. But like, you know, right here, you just get at them. Yo, what's up? What's good? They speak English, you rock like that. You know? You cannot be a Ford to be trying to, you know, go into the club with these chicks and shit, man. But um, I'm gonna holler back at y'all a little bit later. All right, you guys, back here at the legendary coffee factory, studying for pathomorphology with the legend himself. Chris, the genius, 
as usual and um got a couple of my buddies over there from uh saudi program they don't know i'm recording them but yeah so uh good news i got approved for my visa to go to uganda which is awesome um i just went and bought a backup phone for this thing the huawei p9 uh lte um i have an iphone but I don't feel like, you know, taking the SIM card with me when I go over there. I'm still debating if I'm going to buy a ticket for um, Wednesday or Thursday night and be in Kampala by Friday or if I'm going to wait until after semester. My buddy Good Chris here is going to Dublin, Dublin, Ireland. So he's already set. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. What, uh, what day do you get there? Get there uh, Saturday at almost midnight. Sweet. How long are you going to stay for? Uh, week. One week. Cool. So that's what Chris is gonna do. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to check out uh, the Uganda uh, Medical Authority while I'm there. See what I can do to volunteer, possibly move there over the summer. But um, you know, we'll see how that works out. So I'm excited about going if I decide to go. Once again, I got my yellow fever, so that's a great thing. But um, we'll come back a little bit later. Grishma's supposed to be coming to study with us, but you know how Grishma can be. Not dependable. She messaged, said uh, an hour ago that she was heading over here. She did what? She said like almost an hour ago she would be here. And Grish was never dependable, right? One hour to her is like 30 days. And then, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't pass that exam because you didn't come study. Well, anyways, we're going to go over some ex uh, some some material here uh, to prepare for the exam. And uh, come back to you in a minute. Peace. All right. How do you like... You don't want to study today? I'm tired. You tired of studying? No, it's because of the cultural show yesterday. How'd you do? Well, everyone liked it. So, uh, what did you do, like a dance? Uh, I did a fashion show and then oh. I danced. Did you do the little Grishma dance? Yes, I did. <laughs> That's her dance. <laughs> what are you studying there? I'm trying to study. Trying to study <laughs> neural farm. Where are you from? That's complicated. Complicated. Where do you live now? In what country? Besides Poland, I mean. That's what I was going to say. Um, I think France. You think you live in France? Or do you live in France? I live in France. Ha 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 ha. All right, so get back to you doing your work for our society. We appreciate you. All right, so I'm um, gonna go see Nii at a big bay. He um, is from Lagos, Nigeria. He's been living in Lublin for six years. Um, he's the person who built the negromanosphere.com. He's one of my best friends here in Poland. He's married to a Polish lady, um, and they have uh, you know Polish and Nigerian kids. Uh, fun family, so I'm gonna come over here. Um, I owe him some money for some of the work he did on the site, and um, that's what we're gonna do. Look at the kids. Adam. All right, y'all. Getting ready to get up out of here. Shout out to my man Dima who edited in the vlogs. But listen, man, we gonna walk and talk real quick, brothers, about how to talk to some females. Take it from an ugly nigga. Alright? If you ugly, your breath stink, something like that, short fat, you gotta know how to talk to females. Alright? One of the things you brothers gotta do is to learn how to listen. But not just listening, you gotta let her know that you listen. Alright? So sometimes what you can do is you engage in a woman in conversation. She'll say something. Some of y'all will just let her talk because you ain't interested. You know, she'll be just running her damn mouth. You don't say nothing back. She'll be like, are you listening to me? Are you listening? You'll be like, yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Then she say, what, what I just say? You don't know, right? So she's gonna be like, well, I'm wasting my time talking to this dude. You know, whenever I, uh, I talk to, to the nigga, he don't, he don't, uh, he ain't listening to me. So this is what you do. You got a nice looking chick that you talking to. 
you really feel it. All right, listen, and then reiterate the fact that you're listening. And how you can do this, she might say something like, well, you know, I've been at work all day, eight hours, went and got something to eat. Oh, okay. So I just wanna make sure. So you went to work today, you know, uh, you worked for eight hours and all that. And, and she gonna be like, yeah, that's letting you know, that's letting her know that you're paying attention to what she's saying. Even if what she's saying don't make no fucking sense. And typically it don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you gotta do, man. You gotta reiterate the fact, okay? When you're talking to her and you're listening, reiterate the fact that you're listening to what she's saying and you're going to repeat what she's saying every now and then to let you know, to let her know that you're into the conversation. All right? So that's some, that's some tips and gang from you. You know what I'm saying? Any, it works on any kind of woman, man. Polish, black woman, white woman, motherfucking midgets. All of that works, all right? Let her talk, you listen, and every now and then you interject and let her know that you're listening by repeating what she said. And you're gonna ask you in the question form, like, oh, wait a minute, wait, wait, so let me get this straight. He cheated on you with your cousin, Lil Leroy, and you walked in and found him in the bed? Is that right? Yes. Okay, that's that's letting her know that you listen, all right? So I'm about to get up out of here. I'm gonna holler at you later.